What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, Collider CEO Mark Fernandez just did one of the more cringeworthy live streams uh, imaginable. As you can see, the like to dislike ratio is really bad. Collider, about a week ago, made an announcement where they were canceling pretty much all of the shows that the core foundation of their audience cared about. Yes, the deep fake, which something Mark Fernandez could not stop talking about during this live stream. Yes, the deep fake videos are getting a lot of views, and that's perfectly fine. But that's not a sustainable business model. Um, if the deep fake things are doing well, keep doing them. But you still have to have the substance of those shows that built you into what you are. Now, I was a big fan of Collider years ago. And um, I kind of checked out after Campia left. Um, and then the movie, start, movie talk started falling apart, especially after the great John Schnepp passed away. Uh, rest in peace. And, I mean, I was still a fan of Christian Harloff and everything. But once Campia left, everything started falling apart for me. And, um, as you know, I used to be a big fan of John Campia, not so much anymore, but, um, I still respect Campia and Campia had a great rant the other day over on his channel. And I think Campia is picking up a ton of this collider, you know, uh, fallout, which rightfully so John's the man that built collider video into what it was. He's responsible for everything. Um, he's the architect behind it. But Mark Fernandez, about a week ago, they announced uh, the canceling of all of these shows and they fired people. And somewhere in this stream, he talks about he talks about things that he doesn't understand the business that he's in. And, you know, he clearly has a lot of money, but he doesn't understand the business he's in. And he talks about how this isn't a normal job. We don't cl we don't hit the clock. It's not a nine to five. And that's absolutely correct, Mark. It is not a nine to five. It is not a normal job. This is not like the retail industry where I am from. There are optics involved in this and your decisions and how that affects the brand that you work for or have, you know, taken ownership of. And then somewhere in this, you also say that you didn't have a legal responsibility to give anyone notice. And again, you're right about that. But just as you said this isn't a normal job and it's not a nine to five, you also have to understand that when you are as public as you are and your company is this public, when you make the decision to fire and terminate people and cancel shows, if you don't handle that respectfully in the public eye the right way, what is happening to your brand is going to happen every time. And again, I, I and uh, you know, I do play the arrogant stuff up, you know, whatever with with geeks and gamers, and I'm not gonna do that here. I'm gonna be a hundred percent like legitimate and be my be very serious. I'm not gonna play the sarcasm game. I'm not gonna play. Jeremy has more subs than John Campia. Jeremy gets more views than that. I'm not playing that game. It's all meant to piss off the the weak minded people that actually get pissed off by that stuff. That's why I do it. But we're gonna look over here. And we're going to look right now. So we're on here on Collider Video. Okay, Collider Video, 592,000 subs. They have lost, I mean, just an insane amount of subs. Uh, 3, 4, 7, 14, 18, 22, 23, 25,000 subs. You know, like 25,000 subs in, in less than a week. This is unbelievable. Now, the reason I bring this up is, again... I want to be clear. I use a lot of sarcasm with what I say and do. It's for entertainment, and I like to upset the people that it upsets. But in reality, I am very, very thankful for where I'm at with Geeks and Gamers, and I do not think I'm better than anyone. And when I do play up that whole nonsense, it's just that. It's nonsense. But let's take a serious look at this, okay? Collider. With their multi-million dollar studio, with their mega payroll, with all they have, with all of the things that they have at their disposal, you know, access to Hollywood, access to different actors, they bring celebrities into their studio, they just, they have an, un, they have an unlimited amount of resources, money, talent, knowledge, all of that. And here they are with 600,000 subscribers, and they're getting 6 million views a month, which is, that's a, that's a great number. And then we go to Geeks and Gamers, and look, Geeks and Gamers, with not the resources, we don't have the access to the celebrities, we don't have millions of dollars, I'm sitting here, jokingly, that I always usually say, but I'm sitting here on a $75 webcam in my pool house, and we're getting 6.8 million views a month. 
Now, we had a really good month last month coming out the Rise of Skywalker, no doubt about that. That's probably going to drop some, but, but they had the Rise of Skywalker too. And they're getting less views than we are on this main channel. There's absolutely no reason that should be happening. They produce a shit ton of videos just like we do. They've got 9,000 uploads. We have 2,000 uploads. I mean, they produce a lot of content just like we do. We upload a lot of content here at Geeks and Gamers, and we have a lot of different people on our staff. But, you know, Mark Fernandez, you you have the money, clearly. You know, what is it from Mark Echo? I don't know. He's some kind of He had some kind of connection to Mark Echo, and he has a lot of money. You need to hire someone to run your business for you, someone that knows what they're doing. Collider had a great opportunity years ago uh, when John Campia was there. And again, John Campia is the man that built Collider. He 100% is the man. Collider Video. I understand that there's a different side of Collider with the website. Steve Weintraub, who created Collider years and years ago. And the website and the video side are two different things. John Campia created the Collider Video template. He made this what it was. And I don't understand all of the dynamics with John Campia. And when he left, I don't understand any of that. And I'm not going to pretend that I do. What I'm saying is the, the smart thing would have been to give John whatever he wanted. Give John whatever he wanted. Give him anything he wanted in terms of money, budget, and power. Because that man, you, I have a lot of problems with, with, with what he, a lot of things he's done recently on his own channel, but that's irrelevant. That man built Collider. He's the reason you have the following you had and the team you had. And he brought Christian Harloff on. He brought Mark Ellis. He brought Schnepp. He brought Jeremy Johns. He was the reason. And uh, he is picking up a ton of this fallout now, rightfully so, um, because he's the man that built Collider. But I just believe Mark Fernandez needs to needs to find someone to run his business for him from the video side of things because he clearly doesn't know what he's doing. On one hand, you talk about how it's not a, re a normal job, and you're right about that. But then you say you don't have an obligation to give anybody notice that you're firing. Well, it's public, and people have different relationships with these people that they watch on a day-to-day -day basis and when they hear them lose their job so cold and callously callously like that they're gonna get upset they're gonna have an emotional reaction to that you have to respect the fact that these people have connected the people that you have on your staff have connected with thousands and thousands and thousands of people on the internet and when you just are as cold as you are to them and the way you did it that's going to reflect negatively on your brand. And that is why people are frustrated. And then you have no self-awareness when you're talking about it here on this live stream. Uh, you just talk about how great they are. Other oh, great people. I wish it wouldn't happen like this. Then deep fake, guys. Deep fake. Oh, it's deep fake. It's, shut the fuck up about deep fake. It's great. It's a gimmick. That's fine. Nobody's disputing it. I've watched a couple of them. They're really funny. That's not going to sustain your business. It's just not going to do it. You know, you, you, you know, he wants to sit there and people ask him, like, what makes things successful? You know what makes things successful on YouTube? Views. And people want to sit there and accuse me of, oh, Jeremy's out for clickbait. Jeremy's out for views. Yes, motherfucker, I want views. I want views on my channel because it generates revenue and it allows me to continue to build the business that I am building. I will never apologize for looking for views on YouTube because that's exactly why I'm here. That's exactly why every single person is on YouTube. So I don't care what those people say. He wanted to dance around all of that, what's successful. Ultimately, you cancel shows because they weren't getting the views, right? But in reality, it was sustaining the base. It was. You know, I have told my team, I've told everybody on my team that, that creates content on this channel, I do not care about views for them. I don't. And I truly don't. What I care about is they give us good content. Good content. And, all t and a lot of times, good content doesn't get views on YouTube. It absolutely doesn't. I'll focus on the clickbait shit that pulls the views, that helps us get subscribers. I'll focus on that. Josiah can focus on that. You know, I want the people that are on this team. And of course, they all want the views too. They want big views. But what I tell them, I don't care about the views. I don't care if you, that's why we make fun of Drunk 3PO. You know, when his, some of the videos don't get a ton of views. I absolutely love Drunk 3PO and his views, uh, and his videos. I don't care if they don't get a lot of views. Now, he just broke 100,000 subs, and he's hard to deal with now. I'm just kidding. You know I love you, Drunk. But 
it, it, I don't care about views when it comes to my team. I will handle the haymakers that will pull the views in, and I will handle those topics. What I want my team to do, and you can ask any of them, I have told them from day one, I just want good content from you. And good content doesn't always get views on YouTube. And that's what Collider did. Collider ran good content off. Good content that wasn't getting views, but it was, it was making the core fans happy. And they've completely effed this up now. So, I, if and again, I'm not trying to pick up Collider Steam. A lot of people that watch Collider probably don't like me. Perfectly fine. But what I'll say is you probably should go over to John Campius' channel and subscribe to him. Because he's the man that built Collider. He is literally the man that built Collider Video. And he's picked up a lot of steam from this, deservedly so. But uh, Mark Fernandez... You uh, you are not built to run this day-to-day. -day. Um, you clearly have the money, and you bought into this, but you, are, you have run it in the ground, and it is sad to see. And I genuinely hope that all of those creators, there are some talented people that are a collider. There's some that I don't like, um, and that's perfectly fine, but I wish all of them the best, and I hope that they are able to get the, their footing uh, on their own personal YouTube channel. I'm sure Christian, Christian Harloff will create something really awesome um, and, and bring a lot of those people on. Christian's a great guy, and I, you know, I respect the hell out of him. But other than that, like I said, it's sad. It's really sad because Collider had a great opportunity to be something special, and unfortunately... It's it's just another it's just another big company now uh, with corporate greed and all that bullshit. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo lost money. Collider's losing subs. Raylos are weird. And we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com. And if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have T-shirts, hoodies hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.